Hey there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for yet another episode, the last one of our Foundation Week. And here we see our little town from uphill where our keep is, so let's get time going. Let's go to our town and let's see what we can do to make it better. Of course we have promotions available, that's always a good thing. So we have now about one third of the people is serves, and the rest are newcomers. I'm going to do five more promotions into, um, oh, let's see, 50, 20. So we'll have to start right here. One, two, three, four, five. We only have three commoners now. I'm going to do two more. Don't really care who. That's it. That's enough promotions. Just to keep things a bit balanced, because you don't want to promote everyone. They'll all have bigger needs. That's also a chance to make more money. But in the end, you'll get an unbalanced village, and that's not what we want. Let's speed it up a little bit. So we were busy constructing a whole new part of town with a weaver's hut, a tailor's workshop, and of course another church for our people to um, occupy and live in. Now of course we need to get rid of all these trees, so let's make extraction zones right here so that we can actually get rid of the trees. And then make a nice cute town there. Basically an extension of what we already have. And then later on, we can use that for housing and all other industries that we need. There's a military mission available. Let's check our military first. And if we do that, we see that they're only partly trained. So we're not going to send them on a mission yet. I want them to be fully trained. This is all looking okay. All the zoning is fine for now. So basically, what I want to do is develop this part of town. And when that is done, we should buy a few more zones around here so we can really grow this way. I think I want to uh, edit this part of town a bit to make it look nice. That's also a thing that we need to do at some point, get um, into beautifications. Not yet, but at a certain point. All right, let's build it, that's fine. This is working. Now, it's very important that we keep a close eye on all our resources, because for now we are producing enough clothing, but there could be a time when we grow and grow and grow that we don't produce enough anymore and we get into deep trouble. So always keep an eye on the numbers and try to memorize them a bit so that you can see whether number is growing or shrinking. And as soon as you see it's really shrinking... Oh, a house is upgraded. Very nice. Then you need to do something about that. Alright, we have two people available. Let's see what jobs we have available. Well, we can make them foragers. I think that's a good thing. Three villagers coming in again. Alright. So, that's a lot of extra foraging. And we'll put them into uh, the transporting business. That's always good. The bay leaf is available for a mandate. Well, last time we did that... We improved ourselves with the laborers. Let's do the same now with the clergy, I guess. There she goes. Alright. So our number of berries is slowly growing. Fish is good. Bread is good. So most things are good. Although, we have hit the maximum of our treasury a few times. So what I would like to do is edit this building. And add some small stuff to it to get some extra space for actual um, treasuries. That's what I want. Alright, let's build it. That way we get extra room for our treasury. Ooh, there's a messenger. The people are hungry. They want 20 fish. We can get... Ooh, we can get points for it. I think we should do the clergy now because they have only a few points. Or we should do the kingdom because our guy is already... Our bailiff is already doing the clergy. So yeah, let's do the kingdom. We'll help out the king. So deliver 20 fish. Perfect. That gave us coins. So we're almost at the max of our coins. So let's immediately buy an extra zone here. Set it up to be uh, emptied out of resources. 
But I think that's going to work and help us to uh, expand our village this way and make room for dairy farming and all that kind of thing. So that's good. All right, the weaver is done. Going to build a tailor. And of course, they're building the church. And there's a house being built on the hill right here. That's good, that's good. We want more people to build houses there. Interesting. So people are still very happy, so most of them are still able to go to church, even though we lack space, I would say. Can't wait for the uh, other part of church to be done. Still building a house here. Perhaps it's time to get also a few extra builders and place a builder's workshop right here. This part of town, so that they can do building from there. We've got four more villages, so let's put them in straight away. Three in there, put one in here. Now, of course, this guy is getting stuff from this warehouse, which is quite far away. So perhaps we should also place a warehouse somewhere here that he can get his stuff from. But I'm not 100% sure we should do that, so I'm going to wait with that a little bit, see how things develop, and then we'll see what we do. But that could easily be the case. Although they can just get the wool there, that's fine. We'll just make room in it for cloth and common clothing. Alright, the Lord Manor is built, so all these different parts are done now. So what we have to do now is set them all to be treasuries. And that should expand the money that we can house, so that we don't have to spend all our money all the time. And it grew to 1220, so now we have more room to store some money. We don't have to spend it all the time. Although I am going to spend some of it on this territory. And we will start to produce some berries here. Uh, that's the wrong one, we need this one. So let's get into the berry business. Yes, let's build it. I think we should get a granary here as well. Close to the village so that they can store berries here. Or perhaps we should build it on this side then. And that'll help because then the guy here doesn't have to walk so far. So perhaps I'm also going to build the warehouse here anyway. Now... There's mountain sites here. There's resources there. Also stone here, but we don't really need that. I at least want this out of the way. So we'll place it right here, I think. Let's place the um, stockpile right there. So it's out of the way of the village. But it's a lot closer than this one for all the wool and stuff. That might be for the best. Two villagers came in, so let's get an extra weaver and a tailor. That means that they'll start to produce clothing now in these parts of the town. Yeah, berries is growing, fish and bread are stable. We don't have any cheese yet, the rest is also stable, so that's, g that's good. We don't need any extra yet. There is a military mission available, but I don't think my military is ready yet, no. Oh, one, two of them are mostly trained now, which is good. They should achieve strength 4, I believe, and then they're done at a certain point. We're missing raw materials. Yeah, probably grain. But that'll come in later, and we have plenty of bread, so nothing to worry about. Perhaps a few new villagers are coming in. That could be the case. No, not yet. Later on. At least they're doing a fine job constructing this church. Two core pieces need to be completed and then villagers can actually go to church there. Which would be great for the people living here because they don't have to walk that far then. For all their basic needs. The granary is built. Perfect. Let's set it up for berries. And perhaps get in some bread and fish. To make sure that all these stalls don't have to walk that far. So let's get some stuff in here. That's good. And it might be a thing to do the same in one of these granaries. Just get all the different things in. So we could end up 
building a granary here to store all the wheat that comes from this. And then also have a granary close by in town with all the different types of food. So for instance, if we change this one into fish, there will be fish close by that they can just get and be happy with. Now, I don't think we sell cheese here yet. No, we don't have an option for cheese yet. That we should make later on. Right, church is done, which is good. People can now go to church here. We need new people to come in to make sure that the granary functions. Promotions available. Oh, let's check again. Yeah, let's do four more of these. One, two, three, four. And... Oh, we can do a few, I guess. Five more of these. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That's it for now. Yeah, this should balance things a bit. We have four villagers coming in, so let's put two in here. And two others to get into the foraging business. Now we need to set a zone here, of course. Otherwise, nothing will happen. Still have plenty of wood, so we don't need to expand the wood business. But at a certain point, it might be good to move one of these again, because they'll be too far out to actually do some meaningful wood chopping. I guess if this area is cleared, we can remove this one and send it somewhere else. Same goes for this one, although this will probably have some work to do before that's out. This one is also doing a great job nailing all these trees. So that's fine. In all, all our foresters are doing a good job, so that's good. Ah, an extra house close to these parts of town. Two extra houses, that's nice. That's what we want to see. We want to see people living here, just starting their own part of the village and then grow them together. That's how we want to see it. Happiness still up. Ah, oh, there comes another house. This one is done as well, so let's set this up just for a bit of cloth and common clothes, I guess. So these guys will get the wool, and then start to work, and the cloth and stuff will end up here. Perhaps then later on we can add something here that we need later as well. You know, um, jewelry or barrels or whatever. Anything we can get later on that we need in town, we can put in there. Oh, they're building a tier 2 house. That's nice. Means they really like this area. Which is good. They should like the area. It's very desirable then. I think it's also time that we start to sell berries again. Because we didn't do that for a while. We didn't want to. Oh, let's put one guy in here, because I think that's enough for now. Let's get another forager. Of course, we didn't sell berries for a while, because we had bad weather, but that's gone, and we have a good stockpile again, so let's start to sell berries again, make some extra money. We can already buy an extra zone, so let's do so. How's our military doing? Fully trained. We have two people fully trained, so that's good. We're getting close to sending them out on their first mission. Which I'm pretty proud of. And yeah, we are doing okay. Are they selling many fishes? Not any fish. Salt. Which is okay, because we don't have the people that need three types of food. Maybe that's a thing they should work on in this game, to make sure that people can just eat whatever they want. So, we produce three different types of food now, but they will only eat the berries, and the people that got a higher status will also eat bread, but nobody will eat fish. Why not? Why can't commoners or, or, or serfs or whatever eat fish? You just need to produce different types of food. I think they should unlock something like that. And maybe if you... You get like cheese that might just be so exclusive that only a higher tier people eat it, but why would these serfs only eat 
berries and not just fish or maybe some bread. Or maybe you should just berries and fish should have the same status for the lower tiers and then when you get a tier higher they can add bread and then it's so limited that they really only eat berries. But that's just my thoughts on this. What are your thoughts on that? Please let me know in the comment section. I'm interested in that. But I'd say, yeah, why why only the, the berries? Why not one or two different types? These might be new people coming in. I'm kind of hoping because it's four new people that we can really use. Yes, it is. Four new people. And the monk. What do you want, monk? These are needy times. You want tools? No, we're not sending tools. Ain't gonna happen. Alright, we have four people available. We mostly need transporters, but we want to keep them free. So we have three people available now. We'll put them into the foraging business. Let's get extra berries. Alright, let's start to plan ahead a little, because we need other industries as well. We have an iron melter. We just don't have an iron mine yet, but we probably can build one. Uh, we just need to get our zoning up here, and we get gold and iron. And with iron, we can make our own tools. So it could be a good thing to just get these two zones. We can get them straight away, actually. And start working on some iron industry. Alright, let's build a mine. Why not? Right, we got two of these. We got a crane, which is a resource depot. So we should build a crane that goes along with it. Let's do it like this. Yes. Of course, we also want a few small cranes hanging out because it just looks nice. The eye also wants something. There's another dot right here. Yeah. Oh, this will make it look nice. Anywhere else? No. Alright, what's this? A cart that's decorative. Of course, we want to put in a few carts to, to make it look nice. Alright, that's all that we're going to build. Let's build it. That, that'll be our first mine. Of course, then we need some industry to go with it. Most importantly, a warehouse. So let's build one. And then we need industry to work it. One of the things we need, of course, is an iron melter. But we also need charcoal to work it, actually. So let's start by setting up some charcoal. I don't know, do we need one or two? I think two. Let's set it up. And then, of course, an iron melter. And then later on, probably a smithy. Alright, this should do the trick. Alright, they're bringing all the goods. They're starting to build. So perhaps it's good if we start to expand our village that way. Because it's pretty far away. And... Need to keep that area clear. We really want to... Make sure that people can live close by. So we should probably just set this area up. Alright. Now we're just developing a whole industrial area. I like it. Alright, all the resources are there. All they need to do now is build it. And for most buildings, the most resources are there already. Wow, that's fast. I would have thought that would take a little bit longer, but it doesn't. In the meantime, let's keep an eye on our military. We have three fully trained and two mostly trained. So if those two keep training be able to send them on a good mission. And I think it's really important to train your soldiers because they will be really that much better than if they're not trained. And they'll be less likely to die if you send them on a mission. So, yeah, just train your soldiers. Alright, plenty of food. Plenty of other stuff. Plenty of wood. We might need an extra wood cutter, though. Because we need it to... Um, that's a thing. What can we put in here? We need to put in wood, coal, ore, and iron, I think. And we can put four different things in, so that should work. Well, I think 
we need to do now is put in a lumber camp right here. Or maybe this isn't the best spot for it. Well, there is a lot of trees on this side and only a few here, so oh, Let's move it this way. Let's build it right there. No, I said let's build it right there. Alright, let's do some zoning. This will help us get rid of all the trees and they can turn those trees into charcoal. So that's beneficial. That will keep the tree business going. That can also help out greatly. Because right now, if we don't build anything, we only need new wood if we trade a bit of planks and then we need to get a few extra. But if we... Oh, we have promotions available, but I don't want to promote anyone yet. If we start to produce charcoal, we need a steady flow of wood. So these guys here that are doing all the chopping will be very busy with that. And more and more trees will go, which is exactly what we want. So with the uh, charcoal business, that'll be good for getting rid of all the trees. As you can see here, all the extraction zones are doing their job, so that's good. Very interesting. Yep, this is all working. Oh, let's make this a giant extraction zone, just to get rid of the trees. Well, we have three people. All we need now is put them in the right places. Let's put two in here. Let's set this up. It needs wood. It needs charcoal. It needs iron. And what else? Iron ore. But, oh, there it is. All right. That's what it can house. And then we make a toolsmith closer to the uh, village. Your bailiff is back from the diplomatic mission. You gained five. All right. I'm not going to send it at another one because I think it's a waste of money at the moment. Yeah, we have all we need. Next thing we need is 20 commoners to get extra upgrades. So we need to work our way towards that. Which means we probably could promote 10 newcomers. and Or maybe even 20 or 15 then get the serves. All right. We'll see. Still three people available. Still a lot of work to be done in these parts. So let's give him time to do that. So I'm not going to start off new industries here at the moment, like getting dairy farms, etc. I really want them to finish all the industries up north first. Or I have no clue where north is actually, but as we are looking upon the town right now, it would seem to be north. Be precise, of course. The bailiff is ready. We have another military mission. Now we need to keep an eye on our military because they're almost done. That'll be interesting to watch and hopefully we get some good good bonuses from that. Alright, they are really busy. Ah, we got our first charcoal burner. Let's put three people in then. Give them a job straight away. Perhaps at a certain point we just need an extra warehouse right here to store everything. For now, I think this is fine. Oh, we can already assign two miners. Let's do so. We really need everything to be done at a point, so... Let's just continue with it. Alright, we're slowly running out of tools, but of course we're buying new ones. And once this whole patch is done, I'm going to build a blacksmith. Or, yeah, and we can build that a little bit more in town. I think place it here because then all the tools will be stored there probably or it could be a good thing to build a blacksmith here and then have transporters pick everything up and bring it to another warehouse i'm not sure yet oh we can put it in here that's something let's put in tools right there and these guys they don't have to do that much work they can just go and pick up the uh, goods from here we'll have them in town then for our builders and uh, we have all the polluting, noise-making industry right here. So that could be a good thing, actually. Alright, so this one is done. We have nobody assigned. Do that later. Did we actually already get some iron ore? No, we didn't. Not a charcoal hut is built. Envoy is approaching your village. Oh, that's fine. He can come by. The iron deposit is built, so let's get two more miners in so that they really start to do some mining. 
We have a crane storage, so that's working. An envoy is requesting an audience. What do you want? 20 fish. Alright, let's do it for the clergy this time. Let's just rotate it a bit so we get enough points to get everything. We have one extra villager. Well, one isn't many, but it's a new villager. Alright, we got the charcoal guy, so we're making charcoal. We have iron ore mining dudes, so we should be producing some iron ore. So let's get one into the smeltery then. We see four people working to collect some iron ore now. One, two... So yeah, they're gaining iron ore. That's good. We have a hundred wood in here. So that also works. We basically just need a lot more people. And of course, we need to keep an eye on the development of our town here. Now let's see, because I think... Yeah, they're all fully trained, so let's check out this mission. Something is boiling between the realm and our evil neighbors. I personally don't know what it is, blah, blah, blah. I'll prepare my troops. This is an easy mission. It's far away. On success, we have a 100% chance of gold and a 100% chance of common reward. All right, we will prepare the troops, send soldiers to help the king. Well, help requested, prepare the troops... We'll send them all five. We have an extremely good chance of winning, so let's do so. They're all underway. Let's go. Bailiff is available for a man, but I want him to find new resources, and I, at this point, there's no use to it. Ah, there's iron here as well. Very nice. So we have gold and iron. That's basically the deposits that we have. Things look... Good still, so that's nice. Soldiers are out walking towards their mission. There they go. A band of soldiers equipped with a sword. There they go. I think this looks really nice, especially with the uh, little storage there, etc. That looks cool. They're really working hard. Are we producing iron already? I'm not sure. It doesn't appear to be so. I don't know if they can get stuff from this storage or not. Probably should be able to. Yep, he's getting it. And he's bringing it here and then this guy can probably get it. Oh, he can already get it. Perfect. Alright, well, we got an extra people in, so that's cool. Let's put one in here as well, so start chopping some trees here. Do we produce enough charcoal at the moment? I think so, but I'm not 100% sure, so could well be that we need an extra one. At least we've set up the tool industry, except for the blacksmith, so let's start constructing a blacksmith as well. And then we will have... No need to buy a lot of tools, because we will produce them ourselves. And if we produce enough, we might even be able to sell a few to make some extra money, which would also be nice. So, yeah, we are becoming a more and more self-sufficient village. All we are buying at the moment is tools. So, for the near future, we might be self-sustaining. That's cool. And with that comes an end to this wonderful episode and this nice foundation week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Of course, leave any feedback, other comments, games you want to see me play, whatever. Leave them in the comment section. And, and then I hope to see you, of course, next week in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.